family, friends, and um, business associates, of course. <laughs> of course. I think that's a brilliant idea. Good. Good. But we're not really sure when she's coming back. No problem. One call will take care of that. Stop! Stop! Good afternoon, I'm sorry, sir. I was only trying to stop them from budging in. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Are you police officers? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Um, okay. Go ahead. Go. I'll take care of it. Yes, sir. So, gentlemen, how may I help you? Sir. I am Inspector Ken Ebby from Area E Command, sir. Okay, Ken Ebby. What can I do for you? Sir, do you know any Nancy Ezekiel Obama? I, with due respect, sir, I just asked a question. I said, do you know any Nancy Ezekiel Obama saw? No. That name is not in any way familiar. Not, not familiar. But, 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 sir, she claims to be your daughter, sir, and, and her driver's license confirms the surname Ezekiel. But, sir, are you, are you, are you saying that? I am telling you. I do not know anyone of that name, neither am I associated in any way with anyone so called. It might interest you to know that the Ezekiel family is a very large one, and most of them I have never been in contact with. But ironically, sir, this particular Nancy Ezekiel Obama arrested in the wee hours of this morning on her way from a nightclub, specifically claimed to be your daughter. I you know her, sir. She was driving soaked in alcohol. You asked me a question and I answered you. What else do you want? Douglas! Douglas! Tell me! Douglas! You're assaulting a police officer. behind the wheel of a car, soaked in alcohol. Senator, isn't this the girl, the lady you claim not to know, sir? Now get away from that! Sir, this is the lady. I said put it down! This is the lady. I said, said put something down! down.
Now get out. I say get out! All right, sir. Okay, okay. We'll go, but sir. I thought I was doing you a favor, sir. Please, sir. Dad, that was probably the last picture of Nancy that I had. You are most welcome into our home. Terribly sorry for this embarrassment. I am Senator Douglas Ezekiel, a witness father. I, if, uh, she's my friend, Angela Badmas. My very good friend, actually. Yeah. You're welcome. Please, oh, sit down. And um, can we offer you anything? Um, not, not really, sir. Um, I actually just came in to greet the family. My fiance is waiting by the car. Oh. I, yes, and I will walk her to the car. Well, uh, yes, sir. Take that photograph and let it go up in flames until nothing else remains but ashes. Yes, sir. So sorry about all that. I hope your friend wasn't embarrassed. Uh, no, she's fine. Oh, good, good. Oh, oh my darling, you look so tired. Why don't you go upstairs and have a good shower and freshen up? And then come down for dinner. Yes? Okay, my darling. What difference does it make, Eric? How long do I have to keep living in penury when I have a billionaire as a father-in-law? Charles, I, I don't get it. Hasn't he been giving you your regular monthly stipend? Oh, damn it, Eric. Look, why on earth should I be living on a monthly allowance? Can't I be involved in his business or some reasonable business venture out there? Can't I? Oh, but it's such a pleasant surprise having you back home. Yeah. When surprising you was kind of like the idea. <laughs> but you knew your father and myself were planning a surprise party for you. Oh, so that I picked your own thing for the first time. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I accept. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you, Bernard. Hello, Bernard. Hello. Hi. Oh, yes. Your favorite. Rice. 
uh, chicken and butter, and some mixed veg. Oh. Bernard? Certainly, sir. <laughs> ah, Bernard. We are celebrating my brilliant daughter. <laughs> But um, what was that little scene about? Now, why were the police assistants on seeing Nancy's picture? Is she in trouble? Is she okay? <coughs> My dear, I, how was the uh, um, Jigawa state? <coughs> you know, I tried her number, it wasn't going through for some reason. Right here, the north is um, very exciting these days. Is she, um, do you know if she changed her number? spoil this blissful, happy reunion with the mention of her name. <sighs> well, I was only wondering, I'm just... Oh, she's... Sorry. I think... Um, I... I'm sorry. of this family. Sophie, time is something that I, I, I cannot give. Now let me tell you, I cannot bear Nancy being around Whitney even for one second. Douglas, 
they cannot possibly become enemies. You've got to tread softly with her on this. Whitney has so much to do. She has so much on her plate, so much so that she has no space for Nancy. Oh, enough of Nancy. Oh. It has, it has been a stressful day. Would you like a massage, Douglas? I say amen to that. Ah. Oh. Uh -oh. Now that Whitney's around, a visit to the Madukas would be timely, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Henry should be informed that she's around. <laughs> Why are you chuckling? Oh, the thought of Henry and Whitney. Hmm? <laughs> ah. Oh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> to your Potaka trip? It went well. Bastard. Moon, that's what you are. You actually looked me in the eye and lied to me, eh, Charlie? Now tell me, did you not get a phone call from the police station? Oh, I did. I tried to get back. Uh, Honestly. You're a bastard. You're a bastard. Do you understand me? Charlie, those policemen went to my father. Do you know why? Because you weren't there, Charlie. You were not there for me. And then you come here lying to me. You told me you were going to Patakot for two days. Two days for a business meeting. You went for one whole week. And then you have the nerves to come here and lie to me, Charlie. You cheating bastard. I wasn't counting. And you get your hands off my shirt. You know why? Because I'm sick and tired of you. Your childlessness, the rejection of your family, and your wicked, unforgiving father. 
instead of you to think of ways of warming yourself back into his heart, which of course your little spoiled sister has stolen. You stay here and rain abuses at me. You rain insults at me. God help you, Nancy. God help you. Now tell me what is the game? What is the use of getting married to the daughter of Senator Douglas Ezekiel, ex-chairman Senate Committee on Petroleum, one of the richest men in the country today? And you stay here and leave on just a paltry 500,000 naira monthly allowance, some lean godforsaken allowance. Look. the daughter rather than the wife. <laughs> oh, he loves you so much. I know. And all he wants for you is to take over Crystal Towers. I know. I'm grateful that he finds me worthy. You know, since I'm not a boy and all of that. But anyway, I have a big day ahead of me. Come in. There's space oh, for two, mommy. There's space I would for two. love to. Oh. Well. But, um... Unfortunately, I'm on the First Lady's entourage to open um, some rural projects. Well, suit yourself. <laughs> what about that copper friend of yours? Oh, aren't you? Yes. Well, oh, aren't you too close? No, I just didn't think about it. Okay, all right. Well, I have to get started. One million is a lot of money to spend. Uh -huh. oh, oh, lots of shopping, I can take it. Thank you. Yes, Agnes? Uh, sir, the minister is at line two. Right. I'll take it from here. Okay. Hello, honorable minister. <laughs> well, yes, Agnes gave me a feedback on the meeting, yes. I think it is absolutely splendid. Yes. Oh, yes, I, I, I really, really look forward to it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, indeed. <laughs> oh, they are fine. And give my regards to the family. And uh, please tell Henry that uh, Whitney is back home. I hope we'll see you again soon. <laughs> All right. Okay, bye. Sir? Hallmark investment is still unattended to. Mm, what do you think we should do? Well, they propped up their bid, considering the revaluation re from standards. I think they've had a cause for a rethink. Mm, so you think we should give them a chance? Subject to consideration from other departmental heads. Well, weigh everything and summon uh, a meeting accordingly. 
18th. What? On the 18th. You're due in Yola on the 12th. Between the 13th and the 15th, you'll be in Durban. Trans-African summit. You're due back on the 16th. And the 17th? Oh, you don't think I would let you back into this office after one whole tiring week? It's your day of rest. You are a tyrant. Yes, ma. <laughs> oh, Agnes. What can I do without you? Absolutely nothing, sir. <laughs> well, uh, why don't we schedule the meeting for earlier? Since the new CEO is going to resume very, very soon. Interesting. I'll do just that, sir. You know, Agnes, I'm such a very happy man. My heart is beating with joy. I have waited for years. And now I, I can see with my own eyes everything coming together. That is the dream of every father. Oh, yes, Agnes. I have no regrets of failure. No regrets of uh, disappointment. No regrets of bad memories. Oh, no regrets about, uh, about. Sir? Nancy. Senator's daughter, how are you doing? I'm very, very well, and the senator's daughter has no time to spend. I have a lot of money to spend. Get ready, we're going shopping. One million. Are mm. you serious? My daddy gave me one million because I'm taking over the company. Can you beat that? <gasps> Am I jealous of you now? Oh, look who's talking. You're the one who's getting married. I'm still single. Yeah, but, um, sweetheart, please. Um. How do I do this? Um, um, my fian we're supposed to go see a family. I don't... <laughs> One millionaire. There could be something in it for you. Whoa! Who am I seeing? Surprise. How's Nancy? I, I hope she's okay. Well, if you had bothered to visit, you would have at least known. Because uh, I can see that uh, visiting is the last thing on your mind right now. Let's just say your hands are full. Look, I had every intention to visit, all right? I've even tried her number and it's not going through. I only came back a week ago. I barely settled down, honestly. Oh, really? You see, that's wonderful to hear from daddy's girl. I can see that uh, shopping is a really good way of settling down. All right, cut out the sarcasm, all right? These are work clothes. I'm only getting ready for work, oh, that's I all. Know. And I know how expensive things are here. My friend buys his ties here, you know? I can see you must have spent a fortune. What's your point exactly? No, oh, well, 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 nothing really. It's just that um, it really shows how much. A sister loves a sister and cares for her, you know? Look, just say hi to Nancy, all right? Tell her I'll find out time to visit pretty mm. soon. Mm. See ya. Tell me. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. The review files from the 
our South African partners. <laughs> you know, Agnes, for the first time, I believe you are human. <laughs> Why don't we take that file, put it on witness table, and let that be her first assignment? Okay, that's not a bad start. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? No, no. Please do tell Whitney that we anticipate her arrival and have yourself a lovely weekend. And you too. Okay. And you too. Like torture. Not torture, mommy. Help. <laughs> you okay? Your dad will soon be back. He's um he's stopping by briefly for a meeting. The permanent secretary, I know. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. All of it. And mm -mm, don't give me that I can handle it look because I can see that you can't. I ran into Nancy's husband, Charles. And? And uh, nothing. If that man said or did anything to disturb you, I will have him locked up and the keys thrown away. Hey, calm down. He didn't say anything or do anything particularly offensive. He's... I hope not. I sincerely hope not. No, I think he was right. Hang on. Right? About what? Well, he said I hadn't visited Nancy since I got back, and, and he has a point. Oh, rubbish. <coughs> you just got back. <laughs> and you're under no obligation to pay them a visit. No, none whatsoever. Uh, that's so wrong, Mommy. Nancy is my sister, all right? She's my blood. She's not just some friend I can discard. It's my obligation to visit when I can, regardless of what Daddy has brainwashed us both with. Brainwash? Brainwash? Whatever. That still doesn't give him the right to upset you. Uh, you're overreacting, all right? I'm not upset. He did. I can see it in your eyes. Mommy, the only thing in my eyes are the longing for a sister. sister. My sister. Sister. Right, I'm going to go and find something to eat. You don't take black. I needed it. How was your day? Oh, splendid. 
absolutely splendid. And uh, Whitney and her shopping? Mm, I guess it was fine. Hmm. You can't believe what is happening, my dear. More contracts are coming. Oh, yes. And I am thinking to myself, why don't I throw Whitney right into the middle of it? Let her swim her way out. Learn the ropes and become the master of the game. After she has learned the ropes. Whitney Ezekiel, the architectural tycoon. <laughs> My dear, are you okay? You, you look um, withdrawn. Oh, I'm fine. Not with that look on your face. Uh, Whitney was uh, very moody this evening. Moody? Mm. Was the money not enough? Oh, it had nothing to do with the shopping, Douglas. She said uh, she ran into Charles in one of the boutiques. Charles, Nancy's husband. Aye. I also ran into that fool on my way from work. She was driving so recklessly on a very busy high road. She almost ran into me. I looked right into her eyes and I saw, I reaffirmed that my seed in her is dead. Unregrettably dead. I don't want any of them to come anywhere near my daughter, ever! It, uh, it probably had something to do with what Charles said. He, he probably made her feel guilty you know, for not seeing Nancy since she arrived. But you should have seen Whitney. She was so distraught. Oh, it's an emotional blackmail. An emotional blackmail! And Nancy does not deserve any loyalty from any of us, not even Whitney. Calm down. Uh, look, look, I am not going to allow anyone to look my daughter in the eye and utter hit, hateful words to her. I will not. I will not allow him to confront her. He has no right. Will you please? I never said he confronted her. I, it, Whitney never said that either. Oh, but she wouldn't, would she? And you know why? She has a good heart. She has an impeccable heart. And I don't want anyone to take on due advantage of it. No one! Calm down. I was probably making assumptions. Whitney didn't go into details. Oh, please, don't patronize me. Aren't you tired of making excuses for your, 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 your conniving, devilish daughter and her, and, and her so-called son-in-law? How can you say that, Douglas? Douglas! How can you say that I am covering for Nancy? Did I not come crying to you at the beginning? Did I not beg you? To, to pay attention to her. But what did you do? You just went from state to state, burying yourself in politics and, and neglecting your family. I gave my best. Oh, yes, you gave your best. You did your best campaigning and, and electioneering until she got rusticated. Do you think it's easy bearing and living with the pain of a prodigal child? Douglas, it has never been.
I'm sorry. I'm really, truly sorry. your slave driver father failed to do to you several years back to save everyone from the menace you have now become. You can do nothing. You will do nothing. Try me. Try me with me! Bottless idiot. Bottless fool! That's what you are. Oh? Yes, bottless. Empty. Everything about you. Empty. Idiot. Give me my money. Am I? Yes, you are. That is pathetic. You're the one who's about to lose a multi-billion naira inheritance. Huh? And more painful is the fact that your sister, I mean, your kid's sister, Whitney, is about to take over Crystal Towers International. Who told you that? Oh, I ran into her today, coming out from the boutique. And guess what? She told me that she was shopping for work clothes. And that means a place in your father's company. CEO, I guess. Charlie, 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 Charlie. I swear to God, if you really think that this insane insinuations that you're bringing up, or should I say, diversions that you're trying to do, is going to change the fact that you have been extravagant with my money, then you are a fool. Charlie, think up my money. Isn't it striking, Nancy? Isn't it striking? You puff your life away and cry over some paltry 500,000 naira while your dear sister roams about town in royal robes as Senator Ezekiel's only daughter. Nancy, you've lost it. You've lost it. You're cut out, totally cut out from the Ezekiel's inheritance. You're dejected, rejected, frustrated. Stop it. Oh, <coughs> I didn't tell you. Your dear sister, Whitney, now drives around in a beautiful brand new Jeep. Now you compare that to that jalopy you packed out there. That, that guagged, rickety car. Will you stop it right now, Charlie? Just stop it. I'm, I'm not finding this funny. Your wind, Nancy. Please stop it right now. You see? Okay. You see? I'm the only one who cares about you. I'm just doing you a favor, baby. Look, you were disowned and spat out of the house. And there I was. I rescued you. You were worthless when I picked you from the street, Nancy. Totally worthless. I am not worthless. I was not worthless. Oh, come on. Go ahead and prove it. Prove it, Nancy. You sit here and pick words at me over some, 
some lean allowance while your sister roams around the corridors of power. Can't you understand, Nancy? She is the enemy. She stands between you and your father's inheritance. You know, I ran into my father this morning. I saw the hate in his eyes. The animosity, the, the, the anger. Do you want me? You know what he said to me? I forbid you to call me father. I forbid you to ever call me father. And then he went on and said that I am nothing like his daughter, Whitney. How could my father say such a thing to me? Why? I told you, baby. She has taken over your place. And that place you must take back. I will not let you with me. I will not let you. It is mine. It's my inheritance. It's mine. I will take it back from you. I will not let you. Good girl. Good girl. See, we could have everything we want. Our lives could be better. You know? We wouldn't have to fight or quarrel over some lean allowance, you know? Hmm? I'm talking about millions. Millions in our possession. We could have everything we want. Go everywhere in the world we want. Talk about Tinapa, Obodu Cattle Ranch, Yankari Games Reserve, the Caribbean, even the beaches in Miami. Just name it. But first, we must take away the enemy. And who is the enemy, baby? Whitney. Say it again. Whitney is the enemy. Good girl. Come here, baby. Meeting that could have fetched more millions, even maybe more fame, but not more love from the heart of my daughter. I love you, Daddy. I want you to do me a favor. Anything. Nancy, you have a whole world ahead of you. All that I have worked for, all I have labored for, laid at your doorstep. Believe it. Take it. Live it. Did I hurt you? I, I, I want the best for you. But I want you to trust me. Trust me in your relationship with Nancy. Please. <sighs> okay, Daddy. We'll play it to rest for now. It's... It's just that I, I... That you miss her, I know. Yeah, well, Daddy, you know you never let us spend time together. You always pulled me away from her. I, try and understand, she's the only sister I have. In fact, she's the only sibling I have. 
She's all I've got, aside from, of course, you and mommy. I don't think God was kind to me. I'm not sure if he, if he, if he loves me. Because if he does, then he should have saved your mother the burden of the birth pangs of Nancy. Well, Daddy, I believe in destiny. If Nancy was destined to me, then God is cruel.
My father. You see? You're such a spoiled brat. Is that all I have been teaching you? I need a drink, Charlie. No! What you need is a miracle. A miracle you can make happen. What is a miracle, Johnny? Look, I'm talking about you being the apple of his eyes again. Look, imagine you walking down the corridors of international business as the CEO of Crystal Towers International. What about the enemy? Uh, with me? Oh, beat her to her own game. How do you want to do that? You see? Um, you see? It has taken you decades to ask me this question. Have you heard of the game Chess? It will soon be checkmate. Hmm. Hmm? Can I get that drink now, John? I thought it was going to take forever for you to join us here. Ah, you're right, with my father and myself. Impossible. <laughs> oh, it couldn't be. A, there couldn't be a better day. <laughs> Please sit. Agnes, thank you so much for the welcome. I'm really flattered. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a very happy man. A very happy father. And it gives me the greatest pleasure to introduce to you the new CEO of Crystal Towers, Whitney Ezekiel. <laughs> Um, first of all, I don't know why my father chose the name Crystal Towers. 
So uh, if it's crystal, it means it sparkles. It means it's pure. Mm. And it's that same sparkle and purity of unbiased leadership that my father is so popularly known for that I also have humbly come to offer. Oh. 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 Well, did you memorize that? Is it a crime? No, no. It's just that I also know a man who memorizes his speech. <laughs> It's a new yeah, dawn, my it's, dear. It's, it's a new dawn. You're welcome. Um, refreshment is prepared over there. Hi. Yeah. Oh, oh, young man, I hope I'm going to get the final plan today. Oh, yes, sir. Good. Whitney, uh, barista Johnson Omoyege. Mm. Brilliant, intelligent, very loyal. And uh, Maxima Cum Laude, Uniben. Impressive CV, nice to meet you. It, it's my pleasure, madam. And uh, meet uh, Whitney, your new boss. Oh, sorry, madam. I <laughs> could not make it earlier on. Nice. I had to fix some of them. Oh, yes, that's fine. Right. Well, right. Whitney, let me take you to your office. Oh. oh, yes. I have an office already. Oh, yes. Yeah. your father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Money for my spa treatment, Charlie. Wait till your father pays in the lean allowance. of this change of leadership. Business followers expect a new wave of ideas and expertise of the firm considered to be ranked one of the best five in Africa, Whitney Ezekiel 26, will be directly coordinating operations as the MD CEO, a feat most people believe is suitable for the Guinness Book of Records. Bravo! <laughs> 26 year old executive, Whitney Ezekiel, MDCEO Crystal Towers International. <laughs> Don't you think you should? Don't you think you should give her a call? 
Hmm? There might be a vacancy for an office assistant. Don't talk with my emotions, Charles. Don't! Hey, I, I didn't break the news. That's a little backstabbing butt! That hurts. office with Italian furniture, Arabian feetings, all the media attention, and all the razzmatazz of the corporate business world. And you're here, relegated, confined to abject penury, and of course, forgotten. Oh, poor you, Nancy. Poor sorry you. Poor helpless. Dear Nancy. Oh. Just do it. You heard me, I mean. Do it. Did I hear you say something? I was wondering that if we could... Dad? Daddy, how do they know? Who are they? they? I just got off the phone with Mommy and she said the handing over was on the news this morning. Oh. Well, let's just say that the name Douglas uh, Ezekiel arouses, attracts media, media attention. Daddy? Well, let's just say that the Press boys know how to do their job. Oh, Dad. Dad, come on. All right, all right. I give up. Tell her. I set it up. We had a press conference yesterday. Do you know what you've done? You put me on national TV. You put me out there. Actually, it was on satellite too. Oh, God. That attracts too much attention and that's not good. My dear, business is propaganda. All I did was uh, make a little noise, just to get investors knocking on our doors. And to show that we are poised to take up new and innovative ideas. Exactly. How long has she been working with you? Since they've been crystal, long before it became a tower. I've worked with your dad for 11 years. So I'll be right to say you know my father like the back of your palm. <coughs> Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that is why she's getting so well paid. Too. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, so how do you like your office? Yeah, it's alright. But this is much bigger. So Daddy, when am I taking over this office? <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Whitney, board meeting in 10 minutes. Are you ready? Oh, you'll get okay. to know who she is. She, she's a slave driver, that one. Beautiful. I don't understand what you mean by just do it. So just take her out of the picture, OK? Erase our memory. Unfortunately, oh, Lollipop, that wouldn't help your case with your father. And it wouldn't bring the millions either. Look, you don't understand. This is a very sensitive case. I don't know, I mean, you're, you're the brain box, you know? Uh, 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 uh. We are the brain box. I'm just a rigger. But you are the trigger. Don't you understand? You are the trigger! Picky. 
English, you know. Charles, you can't. Once in a while. No, it's know. better in French. <sighs> no, listen. Your problem is that of a dented reputation, right? I guess so. Your father doesn't trust you. All he sees is that angelic picture of Whitney. He disowned you. He did that because of the secure of Whitney's existence. That is, Whitney became your replacement. And so you were thrown into pity land. But, sweetheart, if your father sees Whitney as bad as you are, then he wouldn't have thrown you out. Reason? <laughs> He's an African. He wouldn't want to go empty handed Just baby. I I don't quite understand. I mean, what exactly are you trying to say? Ever played the switch game before? No, what's that? No, listen. No. What we're going to do is to switch lanes. Okay. You become Whitney, that is special girl. And Whitney becomes Nancy, the rejected queen. Kamish. <laughs> That's your plan? Mm -hmm. that sounds too easy to be true. It's easy. Come on, Nancy. Listen, Whitney is weak, vulnerable, and she likes to play superhero. She likes to play the good girl. Yeah, that's true. And she loves you. That is our too. Mm. <sighs> you know, I don't know, Charlie. This just sounds too good to be true, you know? Too good to be true? Yeah. Do you have an alternative? Uh, not exactly. I mean, you're the one who's good at scamming, so... Oh, you're never good at anything, man. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, stick with me and... Let's do it. Are you really sure? Come on! Let's celebrate, baby! To the new CEO of Crystal. I like the sound of that. <laughs> Towers! <laughs> I like that. Mm, say it again, say it again. To the new MD CEO of Crystal Times International. <laughs> My man say <laughs> two million. I'll be your secretary for now. So if you need anything, 777 is the number. Oluwa <laughs> Shino. Hey, what's the rush? Have a seat. Let's chat. Okay. So tell me, what else is there to know about this great company? Gossips? Well, if that's what you call it. Let's just say we call them gists. Okay. Any? Everyone is jittery. Everyone is pensive. Why? We have a new CEO. Besides, they're wondering who is the lucky man. Nobody. None? Nope, none. Why? 
Well, not with this desk right here in front of me. I don't see no data written on it. Well, let's just say I have more pressing priorities at the moment. Like? Like bringing my sister back into the family. Do you really think that's a good idea? Uh, don't even sound like my father, please. Sure don't. Okay. I'll give you time to work. See you later. All right. Hello, darling. I mean, for your first day at work, I wasn't expecting that look on your feet. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, darling. Let me guess. Your father gave you an idea of what to expect as the new CEO of Crystal Towers, and you're fagged out. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Douglas. He never stops. Oh, you should have heard that newscaster just went on and on. Maybe I should give you my award first b before you get into the Guinness Book of Records. Yeah, wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> sure. Um, I'm trying to organize an evening out with the Madukas. Probably dinner. You know, they're, they're very good family friends. And um, more importantly, I understand Henry's back from France and has been asking after you. Me? Why? Don't be naive. He's not bad. Whatever, mommy. Okay. Look, mommy, I really need to find out from you. Did Nancy change her number? I have never had Nancy's number. Mommy, when last did you speak to her? Not in the... not in the last. <laughs> Fine, okay. Um, do they still live at... Uh, where Abiola Crescent? With me. I understand that the cook is preparing vegetables. Now, what would you like with it? I won't be having it. Yes, madam. What's that? It is written, madam. Did she change her clothes? No, madam.
that. Who is that? Who is that now? Can that person talk? You can stay there for all I care. Nancy, ZKL, open up. Whitney? 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 Hello, sister of mine. Long time no see. <laughs> Whitney, hmm? three years. I know, it's been long, eh? I've missed you. You've missed me. And it took you about a whole week to come see me since you returned for somebody who has missed me no, so much. No, it's not that. It's Daddy, the man practically plans my daily activities. I haven't had time for myself, honestly. <laughs> what do I expect? I mean, with all that is coming your way these days, how could you ever find time to call? Or come, or at least even just send a teeny 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 text. Oh, what are you talking about? Please, I've been calling your phone. Look, is that not your number? Please, don't even mind that one. You know how daddy is. He just felt I needed a new car to go with my new status. Oh, of course, of course. Let's go inside, Whitney. I I don't want any pressmen taking any pictures of both of us. I hear you're the biggest new thing now in the world of business. Oh, I even saw you on the news this morning. Oh, oh, big girl that you have become. <sighs> Bitch. Uh, look, I know, I know this place is not well furnished. I know that your office is two times better than this or anything, but what can we do? Some of us are not as favored, you know? Whatever. Back to your phone number. Oh, right. Fine. Yeah, my number got missing. My phone got missing, rather. I couldn't just go to the regals or buy a welcome backpack, so I got another phone. That's it. Look, forget about that. With me. Look around you. Just look, look everywhere. With me, I'm suffering. Look. I live from hand to mouth with me. I live in budget poverty. Penury. No, come on, Nancy. It can't be that bad. I mean, look at you. You ah. look. You look beautiful. Forget about all this that you're looking at. Oh. Forget about all this. Do you know that I, I have a friend down the road? I practically have to kneel, begging her every time, pleading with her to give me clothes on credit. Credit with me. Why? So that I can at least look good for my husband. So he won't go chasing all those dirty, you know, those dirty girls in town. With me. Do you know he hardly even looks at me these days? <laughs> I know it's been like a click. It's okay, Nancy. It's alright. Don't cry. Everything will be fine, alright? Everything will not be fine. Don't patronize me, okay? Don't! How can everything be fine? Look at you! You have everything you want. That gives you everything you want. You, you have a new car. He has given you a place in the office. Look at the clothes you wear. With me, you, you go to the best boutiques in town to go and shop for couture. Look at you, look at you, look at me. Look at me. I've been abandoned, rejected. The black okay, sheep. Stop it. I know how you feel. Trust me. Okay. But. You don't know how I feel. You don't! How could you possibly know how I feel? Because that, that, car, that carries you, he adores you, he, he, he carries you like an egg. He feeds you, gives you anything you want, you know? But me, I'm just... Oh, just leave me to me. Look, everything.
Everything will be fine. Just give give Daddy some more time. He's he's just hurt. He'll hurt. Come. Did I hear you say hurt? That he's so hurt that he can't forgive me. His own daughter. He can't forgive me with me. Why? Why? That's fine. Things will be back to normal, I promise. I'm around now. How is it going to be fine? It's already getting worse. I saw that a week ago. You did? You well, know what he said to me? Mm -hmm. He said, I forbid you to ever call me father. You know what else he said? You are nothing like my daughter. Do you know who he was talking about with me? He was talking about you. You. You shouldn't have let her go. Oh, Douglas, please, give me a break. What else was I supposed to do? You should have got the, the gates locked. Douglas, lock the gates. That's so uncivilized. Maybe. But if being uncivilized can bring some senses into her, then it would have been worth it. Douglas, she is just as stubborn as you are. Um. You know, I don't know why Daddy's been so... Stone cold and unforgiving. Get over it. He detests me, that's why. You know, the worst part is that he has actually even brainwashed mom to act the same way towards me. It's all good. I mean, it's really after seven years, you should get a grip. You're family, and there's nothing we can do about it. We are one. No. We are not family, you. I don't want her anywhere near Nancy. A wish to which she turns deaf ears to. Not anymore. I'm on one side, you guys are on one side. Daddy. Huh? Where are you? Uh, Daddy, uh, what? Don't play games with me. Where the hell are you? I'm at a restaurant. In a restaurant? Alone? Y yes, alone. I want you to, co to come back home immediately. Okay, yes, Daddy, I'll be there. Soon. I have to go soon. With me. Are you so ashamed of me that you can't even tell Dad that you're with me? Oh, no, 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 it's not like that. I, Mom and I had an argument before I came here, and so. Hey! No, really, I had an argument with Mommy before I came here, and. I don't want to stay ah. And to think that for a minute I actually thought you were my sister. And I laid my whole life before you. I, I was lamenting, telling you everything about my life and then I, everything I, else. I, I am your sister. And then, Do you know how daddy is? I, hmm. We have to take things slowly. I, do, I just didn't want to get him started. Whitney. Get up. Leave my house. <laughs> yeah, come on, go. You're asking me to leave Come on, go now. Come on. Did I invite you to my house, Whitney? Did I invite you to my house? You came with your own two legs. Come and go. Don't let me say what I don't want to say. Come and go. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. See you. Uh, Whitney. Um, 
Look, I don't have a dime on me. I don't know if you can give me a raise. Look. I want you to know I love you dearly. I and I miss you. I just wish things could go back to the way they used to be, all right? I am your sister, and if you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. How much is it? Enough for now. You didn't open this check? Um, I'll confirm it. All right, good. Thank you, thank you. You can go. Hey, I've suffered. Look at this bitch. Charlie? It's just, I need answers, Daddy. I, I just want to understand. That's all. Sit down. Junior secondary school, when I realized that my daughter, your sister, whom I sent to England to study business administration, had engaged herself in futility. She neither went to lectures not studied. All she did was either host or attended parties. Your mother visited her several times. As she was cautioned. engaged a guard, a sort of guardian, to keep an eye on her and report to us about her activities. But soon, she began to sleep with that one. Oh yes, she was sleeping with him in return of concealing what she was actually doing. Each time we called, However, a few months later, a gangster she was dating caught her in bed with the, her guard. He beat her unconscious. That was when I decided to bring her home, but not before she was rusticated for Examination malpractice. You had just gone into university when I brought her back. I decided that um, I was not going to let her go into the, the same university with you because I was afraid of uh, the kind of influence she might have on you. So. I decided that um, she went to a federal university. And what happened? What did she get up to?
Nancy. She returned home drunk. And we kept on hearing tales of her escapades around the city. I scolded. I screamed. I yelled. But Nancy got more adamant. She got worse. And it pierced my heart. Her late nights continued. But this time, she drifted into political circles. Most of those men were my political opponents and partners. I concealed and bore the thought in my heart until a fateful night. Your father was invited by the party chairman to his hotel room, ostensibly to discuss strategies for upcoming elections. Upcoming election, the party decision is to see you, Douglas, in the Senate, while I want to see Alaji Taku's man in the House of Representatives. Uh, but my cue, this decision is still a classified one. Hmm? But you know, people don't have any problem because at the party hierarchy, the decision is, is sealed. <laughs> I feel so honored. And I promise that I'm not going to let you down. And I'm not going to let anybody down. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I am equally honored and humbled at this incredible opportunity that's been given to me to serve my country and indeed my party as well. <laughs> I'm impressed, I'm impressed. Uh, I guess we are done with this meeting. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, Musa. Oh, they are here. <laughs> that is wonderful. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Send two to my suits. Suit six and one, one to other party members, okay? Do I make myself clear? Do that. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> this meeting is uh, over. Uh, you better run along to your various rooms. Uh, 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 the important uh, matters are rising. <laughs> so, so come by, and uh, I hope you all understand. So why waiting for? Hope you all understand. Yeah, who doesn't? Oh, I don't. I think it is an unnecessary distraction. Oh, we all know you, Sir Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Chairman, I am not a saint. I am only a loving husband with an angelic wife oh. and two most wonderful daughters. Oh, oh lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys just... <laughs> Mr. Chairman, yeah. permission to follow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Right. Yeah, Mr. Chairman. Right. Have a nice day. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're in the right. 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 I'm expecting a consignment. Oh, hey, all right. Man. Okay. Sure. Hey.
Chief, Chief. Dad! Oh. Daughter, you, you, you. Oh. <laughs> daughter. Your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. With me. I broke down. I broke down and cried. The thought of my daughter sleeping with my friends. Men old enough to be her father. My daughter, a prostitute. A few weeks later, I received a photograph, a nude photograph of my daughter. A note was attached to it which said that I should step down from from the election or the photograph would be published. Excruciating days. I decided to step down, and I, 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 I lost the seat in the Senate. Of all this, where was Nancy? Where was she? She was crying and crying and asking for forgiveness, refusing to eat anything, just crying continuously. So, your father, feeling that she was better off within the family than on the streets, took her back in. And, and children. What happened? <laughs> Left to their fate. There are worse cases, I must add. Mm. No doubt. I have no doubt. Ah, let's <laughs> see. Hey, how can you be, Jack? This is my goddaughter. Hey. She's such a grown woman <laughs> now. How are you, darling? Good evening, Auntie. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. how are you? <laughs> and where are you coming from? You left this house yesterday. That I had a flat. Oh, really? And you had a flat battery too? Your handset was switched off. That I was actually... Now get out of my sight! <sighs> that was rather harsh, I guess. She deserves no less. It seems you're having problems with her. No. Hmm. Is staying out one of her habits? <laughs> Everything is a habit with Nancy. Oh. Young adults could be quite a disturbing case at mm. times. I and Jack can help her. Mm. 
it's a specialty. And with a session or two, you'll notice a change. That's right. I'm not uh, bothered about Nancy. I keep my eyes on Whitney. She attends the best school. Her res uh, results, excellent. And her GP is steadily crawling towards first class. Well, our hope is not lost on Nancy. We can help her. to the office. Barbara and your mom to the seminar. And uh, Jack was left to take Nancy on a few counseling sessions. I opened up my studies to aid the process and we left the house. Headed straight for the study. And a long time ago. She must have changed. Nancy can never change. She will never change. Maybe you haven't given her the opportunity to show you that she has. You've completely shut your heart against her. No. She locked herself out of my heart. As sad as it is for you, I cannot find the key.
What's the occasion? Oh, plenty. Guess what? Whitney visited. Mm, ah, finally. Ah, baby. I played her emotions like Carla Santana plays on the lead guitar. Ah! Baby, you need to see me. I could have won an Oscar. I was smoking hot. Mm -hmm. And guess what? She promised to talk to daddy. <laughs> Still news. It won't work, Nancy. It will work. You're always too optimistic, okay? In any case, how about our plan? How is that coming off? Well, um, it's on the seashore. Mm -hmm. It will be rolling up soon. All right. Well, you did a good job by making her open up. <laughs> oh, baby, you know, it's not often you actually give me my credit. So right now, I like the sound of that. Thank you. And guess what? I did more job. Mm-hmm. You mean that little brat can afford a token of a hundred thousand naira? <laughs> Me too, I tell you. Baby, that tells you how much that girl has in a bank account. Mm hmm Probably millions. What are you talking about? Much more! Don't compound my woes, okay? I actually had that kind of money in my account if you were not spending it on your stupid fruitless journeys anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. So, at last, uh, the legislative has finally. The legislative has met with the executive. Executive, yes. <laughs> executive. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Louis. Mm, the madam. Always a charm and beauty. <laughs> well, more charming is her daughter. Eh? I'll be damned if I didn't notice her. Hello, sir. How are you? You know, Louise, she's a graduate of uh, architecture, first class honors, you know. 
Yes, Henry said that. That's quite a great fit. Oh, yes. Oh, she has brains to go with the beauty. <laughs> you see, today's generation, you know, well, I maybe you've not heard that Henry has opened a bank in France. A bank in France? Yes, a bank. Now that is incredible. Thank you, madam. Actually, Whitney has taken over the running of uh, Crystal Towers. Crystal Towers? Oh, yes. <laughs> this generation is, uh, is like taking this bull by the horn every day. Yes, I just hope that they will take the bull to the altar. No, I, I think my son here is already taking a step in that direction. In that direction, yes. <laughs> no, I'm just taking my time. Uh, any prospects, Henry? Are you really sure about this? I have it all worked out, Nancy. Only if you think she'll fall for me. I could bet my life on this, baby. Hmm. Look, I, I know, know her, Charlie. I know her, Nancy. I know her. Now, remember the game plan? Are you ready? Now, let's play a game called... So, apart from being a first class graduate, what is so so good? Please, drop the first class thing, alright? Don't pay attention to my father, I'm no genius. Oh, well, you never can tell, baby girl. Well, I can tell you that I'm not. I'm just a simple girl who strives hard for excellence. Hmm. Well, it all fits so perfectly. What fits? Us. Mm -hmm. Henry, don't let them get to you. Okay? I mean, it's obvious what their intentions are. Who? Our parents. <laughs> Whitney, this is for me, <laughs> not our parents. Oh, please, it was written all over their faces. I mean, you could practically smell the desperation. Uh. Look, we're adults, all right? Yeah. So if, if anything is going to happen between us, it's going to be strictly our decision. Deal? All right. This is my decision. I want to see you again. Alone. Outside our gardens. So, what do you think? About what? About Henry. Dad, uh, he's... Excuse me. Are you alright? Uh, yes, Mommy. I'm fine. Uh, hello? Hello? Yes? With me! Hello with me! Wait, wait, slow down, slow down. What, what's going on? What is it? <laughs> I'm dying! With me! With me, please, can you come right now? Relax, relax, I can't hear... Okay, fine. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm on my way, all right? He's killing me! Oh, oh, kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Help me! Come over.
over, pull over. What? I have to come down. Yes, my name. Yes, my name. Who was that on the on the phone? Um, Angie. Y yes, and she sounded like she was in trouble. I need to go, Daddy, now. Please pull over, please. She didn't tell you what was wrong? No, no, I didn't even ask. But I need to go. She sounded uh, urgent. Questions. Uh, 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 I mean, can't we drop you there? No, no, it's fine, Daddy. I'll just pick a cab. Uh, all, all right, driver, pull over. Thank you, Daddy. about what do you mean you can't it's no use i'll lose out what rubbish everything is my fault <laughs> oh don't be saying that what do you mean it's your fault since charles found out about the condition that gave me before i got married to him my life has been a living hell Imagine the conditions that they gave to me about this stupid house that is not even painted. It's a completely stupid building. The cars, even the inheritance, everything. That's why he's beating me up like this. Wait, you mean? Are you trying to tell me? You, you mean? Yes, that? yes, Whitney. 
He said that is the only condition for me to stay married. Even the inheritance that I'm supposed to get. Dad actually said I can't get it until I have my own children. Why did do this to me? Oh, God. I don't believe this. Why would Daddy do such a thing? You're his child for Christ's sake. To do this to you? Can you blame him? <laughs> he would have actually left me when he got all this. He would have gotten on a plane and gotten out of this cup for second country. <laughs> but no, he chooses to stay with me, to help me, pities me. He's helping me. <laughs> it's alright, it's okay. <laughs> Well, look, if those are the conditions that he has laid down, then I think what you should do is, in fact, what you guys need to do is focus and have a child. Get pregnant, and then all this will be over. Okay? What? What? That's the problem. Whitney. I can't have a child. Come on, Nancy, what is it? You don't want to have a child? What? I don't have a womb. I don't have a womb. I don't have a womb. <laughs> No, I'm it, losing it, my friend. I'm finished. My it's okay. It's all right. It's empty. It's okay. <laughs> what, what, what are you going to do? I mean, this is getting worse. What, what will you do? That's why I sent for you with me. I need you with me. What can I do? I love you so much with me. And I know that you love me too. What can I do? You're my only sister. And I know you'll do anything for me. I'll do anything for you too, Whitney. What can I do? Whitney. Have a child for me, Whitney. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, what do you mean? Amen. Help me have a baby. You know, carry my baby. You're serious? Now you can't be serious. What do you mean? I'm, have I'm serious, Whitney. Look, Whitney. If you agree to this, no, 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 we no, can no, leave no, 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 I depend on you. You're, you're my last hope. You can't turn your back on me like everyone else is turning your back on me. You're the only one. You to what you're asking me to do? I know, but you can't do it. I can't I, do it. I could do anything for you. you, you. What am I going to say? No. I mean, Daddy, mom. Oh, baby. <laughs> she didn't bite. That was great. You were a bomb. Baby, you're better than Halle Berry. Are you daft? She didn't bite, mom. Take a breath, Nancy. She'll come back.
Welcome, madam. Hello, Welcome, Bernard. sir. Ah, Bernard, is my daughter home? No, sir. No. No. I thought she went out with the family. Right, um, get me a glass of juice. Yes, sir. The phone is ringing, Auntie. The phone is ringing. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Yes, Daddy, I'm fine. When did you come in? <sighs> Whitney. Would you tell me what is going on? Nothing, Dana. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> you are obviously not fine. I'm fine. Look, I'm an adult, all right? And if, as an adult, I tell you I'm, I'm fine, I am fine. Whitney? Yes, Mom. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay? I'm fine. My body yearns for it, but my mind won't let me. I, I don't know what it is, but... Do you feel strange? Uh, I think strange is a fair word. Is it with me? She's concealing something. But our eyes reveal it. I can see it too. Hmm. I think we should uh, give her a few days and see if it is something she can handle. Do you think it has anything to do with Nancy?
<laughs> Tell me. Is that... Whoa. Who's... It's... Time to play Big Sister. Hello, Whitney. I'll do it. What? On one condition. Whitney, what condition? Just name it, say it, whatever. I can't sleep with your husband. The way to do this, it has to be in vitro. Okay? <gasps> That's okay. Anything you want, I'll do it, okay? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Whitney, thank you. Oh my God, you don't know what you've just done for me. You've just saved me a lot of disgrace and shame, Whitney. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Nancy, listen. I'm doing this because, like you know, I love you. And you're my only sister. And more than anything, I want to trust you. So, please, don't let me down. Okay. Good night. Thank you, thank you. I can't contain myself. Thank you. I'll call you back again. Thank you. burden that is tearing you apart. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. Fine. Look, it's nothing I can't handle. Whitney, you have never lied to me before. But yesterday, in the car, you lied. I hope to God you know what you're doing. I do. Good night, Mom. What do I do? Can I really live up to this choice? Can I do this? <sighs> but I have to. Nancy needs to be a fulfilled woman. All her life she's been living in bitterness and, and hate. I need to show her how much I love her. How much we love her. I, I need her to believe that she has a family, a home. 
dad, what about mom, my, my own life? Oh, this is really difficult. Hello, beautiful. Uh, uh, Henry, hi. Sorry, did I scare you? No, no. Ah. You look lost. I'm fine. Uh, you know, I was thinking, um, how about lunch? How do you see? Lunch? Um, I'm sorry, I have a meeting with the... Um, Meeting the, uh, the management team of uh, Obudu Cattle Ranch. Right. Obudu? Did that place Obudu? Yes. I had all this long to be there. <sighs> lovely place, lovely place. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what about dinner? Don't say no. Do you remember you have another meeting with uh, Mi'kmaq Resort? <sighs> I forgot. Over dinner. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so busy. Oh, meetings. Busy, busy, busy. Well, it's one unlucky day. Well, I'll keep in touch. Have a lovely day. You too. Whitney, you're avoiding him. I barely even know the guy. You haven't exactly been very bright today. Is everything okay? No, everything is fine. I'm fine. You can talk to me. I mean, you no, trust me. I'm fine. It's nothing I can't handle. I just need a bit of fresh air, so good step up for a while. Okay, see you. Oh, hello, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, she just tapped out, sir. All right. All right, I will tell her. Bye-bye, sir. How are you? Um, I'm trying to get a hold of Angie. I can't get through to her phone. Where is she? Oh, the village. Oh, yeah, I guess. No service. Okay. All right. Well, thanks. No, no, everything is fine. Thank you. Okay, bye. about an hour ago. How do you know? <laughs> Agnes, she called. Douglas, you're having her watched. Well, just making assurance doubly sure. How was she? Tense. And restless. Just the way she's been in the past three days.
proud of you. Oh, yes. I'm going to Calabar. Calabar? Yes. Um, there's a friend of mine. Uh, she's a couple friend. She's getting married. And so I'm leaving in two days. Uh, day after tomorrow. And uh, when are you coming back? Uh, Sunday? No, Daddy, uh, Monday. Monday? Well, yes, they, they are having Thanksgiving, so I'm going to come back after the Thanksgiving on Monday. I see. And, uh, yes, you must be there. Yes, I promised her I have to be there. And I see. you must. Be there. Well, yes, Mommy, I already promised and I can't go back on my word now. It's all right. Just make sure you call us when you get to Calabar. I will. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to have lunch. I'm hungry. Here. There you go again, always so sure of yourself. I mean, what if she has changed her mind or something? The fool has got no mind. She just thinks with her heart. Okay, okay. As you mean, this whole plan, you know, works out the way you have figured it. And she gets pregnant, okay? So what's next? Good question, baby. Then, the game begins. Charlie, the game. I thought this was the game. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Look, you see, this is just to prepare us for the real game. You know, move to move, step by step, until it becomes checkmate. Game over. All right.
because today is a public holiday, the office is closed. Yes. Did she tell you she was going anywhere? Not at all. Her car is in the garage, madam. You mean she left without her? No. And she left a note for you, sir. Sorry, Dad. I made a mistake as regards the wedding date. The wedding is tomorrow. I had to leave today. See you soon. See you soon. Sophie, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. There's nothing to worry about. The doctor can fix it. All he needs is just the inseminations and the rest left to nature. Look, I just really want to thank you. I want to thank you so much. Don't, don't thank me yet, because I don't know what I'm doing, all right? And you really don't want to think about no, it. No, Whitney, you, you, you know what you're doing. Really, you're doing this for me. Your only sister, my life. You, you know how much this means to me. My hopes, my dreams, our future. Let's just go. Let's, let's go before, okay. I, before I change the my mind. Before I change my mind. Completely lose it. One hour from now. Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, if we do this, then what's the next plan exactly? When, when, when it's about a, a month old, the, the pregnancy, then we start to pressurize that, that you want to go for your master degree program. Mm -hmm. And then we leave, we, you and I, just you and I, okay? We, we, we both leave. And then the, 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 the next phase. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this. Why are you making me do this? Because you love me, that's why. Because you know that I would have done the same thing for you. You know this. All right, let's go, ladies. <clears throat> Insemination. Exactly, Doctor. I have actually explained everything to my cousin here. And I actually believe that this is the best procedure ever for she and her husband to, to undergo. Yeah, understanding the fact that um, she was raped as a teenager exactly. has helped me a lot to consider this option, Doctor. A young lady, why don't you consider seeing a psychologist? No, actually we have thought about it, but we, we, we believe that. Uh, as a matter of fact, Doctor, I believe that motherhood would help her unveil the past and the hurt. And um, this would help her too, to heal the wound. Exactly. You know? Nancy, sweetie, it's okay. It's okay. Whitney, really, it is. The doctor understands. Well, the for doctor. the purpose why you, you, you are here, I must say we are one of the very few scientific know-how and the medical expertise. Mm. And you will benefit from this knowledge. Exactly. Yes. You see how lucky we so, are? So, don't we? Go ahead and do it. Oh. I will prepare her for the theater. Oh, thank you very much, Doctor. Please, I beg you, God Almighty, please be very careful. She's my first cousin. That's no problem. You'll be fine. That's how I feel. That's how I feel.
I hope. hope she's okay. is confirmed. You know, it's not automatic. It's got fun with such house. Your wife is okay and the examination was perfect. Jesus, thank you so thank much, you Doctor. Lord. Honestly, thank you don't Lord. know how much this means to me. Thank so you, many. Lord. Oh, this means millions. I mean, million children, plenty children. Um, doctor, when is the confirmatory test, please? The confirmatory test is due tomorrow, sir. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Again. Thank you, Mr. Charles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You never told me she was like that. But I did. You wouldn't believe me. But that's true, sir. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's an incredible character. I can imagine. <laughs> Thank you. Make it up. It's all true. Believe me, sir. Oh, oh. oh, Henry, what a surprise. I just stopped by to see with me. Oh. oh. Didn't she tell you? What's up? She had to go to a friend's wedding in Calabar. Yes, mm. Calabar. Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> Just like she had an emergency meeting with the Ogudu Kachu Ranch crew. And another emergency meeting again at uh, Chrisland Hotel. What are you talking about, Henry? Uh, she knows. Uh, <coughs> uh, sir, if that will be all, oh, I should take my leave now. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, sit down. Uh, sir, uh, I say sit. Sir, Whitney has been avoiding me. I can bet you she's not in Calabar. No, don't bother. He's switched off. I've tried all day. Henry, I really am sorry for the embarrassment. But if my daughter says she's in Calabar, then she is in Calabar. Henry. I give you my word. I'll take care of it. It's okay. Thank you, sir. Thank I better you. take my leave now. Good night. Regards to your parents. Thank you. What is this? Now, young lady, what the hell has been going on? Sorry, I, I had to cover up for her. Cover up for what? For what? Hmm. <laughs> nice wine, isn't it? Hmm. You know, my dear, I I think she's lying. Whitney? I think she's hiding something. Huh. I don't know what to think. Whitney! Hey, I just wanted you to know I'm back. And how are you, dear? I'm fine. I'm fine. Is that all I get to hear? I'm fine, Daddy. But I'll be better when I have a shower. How was the wedding? The wedding was fine. It just went smoothly. It was good. See, Not so fast, young lady. Do you? Mind telling me what the hell has been going on? 
Going on where, Daddy? With you. Like I said, I'm fine. You are not. I am. Daddy? I'm not going to let you out of my sight again. You know what, Daddy? If you had shown just a teeny tiny little bit of this concern or commitment for Nancy, she would not be where she is today. How dare you? It's the truth, Daddy. You're busy hating on her. You're too busy carrying so much bitterness in your heart. You're just too busy. Quickly, stop it! Nancy made her own mistakes. Yes, but you were not there to guide or guard her. Enough! Whitney, please, stop it. Fine. Um, I thought it might please you to know that she's pregnant. Is that what all this is about? Nancy? Yes. And no, Daddy. It's about our family. It's about love. It's about care. It's about us. I didn't know about Nancy's pregnancy. Uh, yeah, she, she is. She has changed. Have you seen her? Yes. And she's different now, Daddy. How different? Well, different enough to know that she has failed you and... And Daddy, she wants nothing more than to make amends with you. She wants to live a better life. Well, I hope so. I know so. <sighs> Invite her and Charles down for dinner soon. Really? I want to stare into her eyes. Oh. No, Whitney. No. I have changed my mind. I'll call her myself tomorrow.
There's no need for all these tears. It's in your condition. Oh. so bountifully. Oh Lord, we ask you to come and bless this food. Amen. Let us nourish our souls as well as nourish our bodies. Amen. Be with us. Amen. Guide us. Amen. Guard us. Amen. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Well, let's eat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> And you say, calm down. Now, what is happening to my daughter? You don't have anything to, to worry about. I'm sorry to have kept you. Actually, it was due to the slow response of your daughter, just because of her condition. What, what condition? Don't you know? What? Your daughter is pregnant. <gasps> what? Pregnant? This must be a joke. I conducted the pregnancy test myself. Look, doctor, there must be some mistake because my daughter can never be pregnant. Sir, please, you, you have to take it easy. Um, I, I think she took um, some sedatives and she will need adequate rest for her to regain consciousness. Excuse me. 
Oh my god! Oh! This is what she has been trying to tell me all along! So, this is what she was trying to tell me! Oh my god! What? Who? Henry. Henry? Oh, Henry. Right. Hello. Hello. Is that Henry? This is Douglas Ezekiel. Yes. How can you be so irresponsible as to make her pregnant out of wedlock? You may be the son of my best friend, but if you don't come to the Blue Cross Hospital right away, consider yourself dead. is like all strong <laughs> just like I wanted yes there's disappointment in the air a lot of curses anger everything is just going on this box is oh. but guess what in the midst of all this I'm kind of feeling funny funny mm -hmm. tell me more mm -hmm. Aren't you feeling honey? Oh, baby. Mm -hmm. You know you always set my body in fire. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Oh. Sir, good afternoon, sir. You, you sent for me. Hi, Sweetney. What is happening? How is she? The doctor says she is pregnant. Pregnant? Very, very pregnant. How could you? Are you so irresponsible 
as to make her pregnant out of wedlock? Uh, sorry, with due respect, sir, I, I don't understand what you're saying. You dare say that to me? For, for God's sake, I, I have never seen her nakedness. I have never seen, kissed her. I, I, for all I know, Whitney, your daughter, is she's a virgin. Are you saying to me you've never had a sexual intercourse with her? I swear on my life, sir. Not at all. What is happening, sir? Mom? Can I... You just you collapsed, that's what happened. You just fell like this and collapsed. Yeah. And then we all rushed you to the hospital. Um, you just passed out. But it's not a problem, okay? Probably when the doctor was, you know, um, trying to revive you, he probably did a lot of tests and he might have found out that you were expecting. No, I don't, we don't know for sure. It's not certain. It's not certain, we don't know I for sure. I assure you everything is under control. Yeah. Okay. It is possible, right? We're adults, so we know what we're talking about here. It's possible. I just need you to be calm. Be calm. Nothing is going wrong. Not at this stage. We are almost through. We are almost through. Just a little time. Just be calm. Be composed. We'll be fine. Okay. We have everything all worked out. Okay. Just stick to the plan and, you know, as usual. <laughs> Whitney, I really want you to know that I appreciate the fact that you're sticking by me at this time in my life you have risen to the occasion and you have actually acted out like my my angel i just want to thank you and i want you to know that i'm right beside you i'm always with you anything you want just call me i'm here for you just like you are already here for me see it's not cost for that just relax Get well, okay? Look at you, girl. You look good. <laughs> With me. Are you sleeping? <laughs> Did she say anything? Nothing. Well, uh, well, it's of, it's very obvious that I'm of no use here. With all due respect, Mr. Senator, whatever it is that has happened to your daughter, I have no hand in it. For God's sake, nobody's talking to me, so I, I need to take my leave. I have to talk to my father. Excuse me. You better go to your father to teach you some, some manners. Come, honey, who is that guy? Can you imagine? Look, I won't have anyone come here to speak to my father in law in that manner. Whitney. Whitney. Oh, if I can get within one meter of her, I will strangle her with my bare hands. 
Oh, Sophie, I promise you I will. Oh, I will. You know, Mom, we just needed somebody to talk to, and she spoke to me. She said she, she just felt caged in but by dad's overprotectiveness that she felt the need to, to break loose, to, to go out and have some fun. But I never knew it was going to be like this. She never knew to. You know, she's very innocent. She's not experienced. And Whitney said that. Whitney said that. That she never meant anything. I gave her everything. I give her everything. Let me, Douglas. Let me go and put my hands round her neck Douglas. and I will squeeze Douglas. and squeeze. Douglas! Daddy, please. Daddy, please take it easy. Douglas, my child may be pregnant, but she is not a slut. Hmm. I want her to look me in the eye and tell me why a married man what good will that do? Will it remove the bastard from her, from her womb? Douglas, at a time like this, what a child needs is that bond between herself and the mother. She, she needs to be able to trust, to unburden her soul. I will speak with her. And if she doesn't tell me the truth, then it's not worth being said. Mom? Please, Mom. Nancy, let me go. I really don't think... Let me go! Dad, she's not even healthy, you know. She can't, she can't bear it's all right. to go through all the emotional it's all right. trouble. It's, it's Talk to me. Please. Mommy, I said I'm fine. Look, if you don't want me to talk to your father, I won't. Whitney, there's nothing new under the sun. Nothing. So just tell me, who is the father of your child? Mommy, what are you talking about? Whitney, Henry has been here. And he has said he is not responsible. So please, who is responsible for this pregnancy? to these eyes for the past 26 years. As a baby, I used to watch you in your court. I'd rock you. I'd sing to you. I'd suckle you. I, even when you couldn't talk, I knew exactly what it was you wanted. 
I knew when you needed me. Whitney, please love. I don't see any difference between this, that little child, and this young woman. This beautiful young woman. I don't see any difference. Mommy, I, I, I can't. I shouldn't. Talk it to me. It would hurt you. I, I, just... I, I can't take it. I can't take it. Honestly, I can't take it. Try this one, Nancy. Nancy? What has Nancy got I, to do I promise to give her a child. With me, honey, you're not making sense. I'm carrying Charles's baby. I'm pregnant for yeah. Charles. No, 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 mommy, no, 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 what is wrong? Hold it! Get the doctor! 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 Sorry, please. Sorry, talk to me. Mommy? Speak! Mom, what is this? Speak to me! Speak! Speak to me! Mommy? Mommy? Speak to me! 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 Speak to Talk to me! Please! Please talk to me! Please talk to me! Talk to me! Talk to me! Do something! Mom? Talk to me! Talk to me! Talk to me! Nurse, what are you waiting for? Get me the beating aids! Quick! Talk to me! Talk to me! Please! <laughs> Nurse, get me the Britain air to lose her. Be fast about it. You cannot lose her. You dare not lose her. You must not lose her. Son, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. No. 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 Doctor. No. 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 Death, they say, lurks through the corridors of life, racing through the seasons of the sun. And with claws swinging like the pendulum of time, it awaits our end. A destined end to our mortal existence. But mother, I can't tell if indeed yours was a destined end. Neither can the pain in my heart nor the sorrows in my soul attest to it. I can only hope that in eternity I shall call you mother again. But until then, let me bear the burden of the choice I made. For in my heart I shall wander away from the life I once knew, holding no memories but that of a love for a sister. Rest in peace, Mother.
so that's what I lined out so that you know we put it okay. all together. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what you have over there. Yes, yes. All yes. Right. And then um, as for this, it's it's settled already. Yeah. It's, okay. it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same I, I, thing I, I, as I, what you have yeah. here. Yeah. Hi Daddy. Hello, my dear. <laughs> You're still at this. Well. Oh well. We're almost done. Oh. All right. I thought to bring you some water. Oh. Thought very, very person. thoughtful of you. Oh. So, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you alright? Um, um, excuse yes, me, sir. I will visit the little. Uh, right. right. Um, that is, I'll be <laughs> if you need me. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Ah, excuse me. Um. <laughs> Don't you have a house? Not really, because since my mother's death, you have practically moved all your business to oh. my house. <laughs> I was just wondering, do you have a house? <laughs> Isn't it obvious that someone is bothered about the will? <coughs> Excuse me. What will? You expect to get a lion chair, don't you? At all cost. I must add. What are you talking about? You see, Nancy, I'm amazed. Your younger sister was not by your mother's graveside. Your father doesn't want to speak to or about her. And all of a sudden, you have become the desired one. Too good to be through. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> oh, now I see what all this has been about. Now listen to me, you pock nosing bitch! I do not appreciate anyone meddling in my family business. My family business is strictly confidential. And contrary to your insinuations, my sister with me has gone through a lot lately. And as we speak, is receiving adequate attention. What do you mean by through a lot, lady? <laughs> like I said earlier, none of your business. Mm -hmm. But darling, like us, being a very intelligent lady that I suppose that you are. I'm sure you understand. In the next five minutes or thereabout, I expect you to get yourself out of my father's compound. Otherwise, I will say to it myself. <laughs> well, 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 dear sister. Well, neatly manicured. You see, I work for your father. I don't take orders from you. Please take some rest so you look better tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Dad. Are you still at this? It's been over four hours. Uh, we, we, we just finished. Uh, I'll you see you should. tomorrow, sir. Right. You should go get some rest, Dad. Thank you. Oh, you see. <laughs> You're still very strong, Dad. Obviously wronged you for many, many years. I, 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 I don't know what to say. It's okay, Daddy. Really, it is. That we all have gone through a lot this few months, and I totally understand. Really, yeah. all I want to do right now is just be here for you. I want to be by your side at this trying period. That's all. <laughs> Welcome home. Welcome home. Thank you, Daddy. Indeed, I'm glad to be home. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
So, gentlemen first. <laughs> Look at you, baby. I'm going to do something for you. I'm going to make you some salt. I know it's pretty well. That's your favorite, right? So, I know mom's recipe, you know? <laughs> So I got a call from Transworld Investments, and they are so pleased with the presentation that Whitney sent. Sir, is something Dad? I must. Really, I will appreciate it if you do not weaken my father's already weak heart. If you have anything to discuss, important issues like that, direct it to me, and I can take care of it. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, Dad. Okay, sir. Oh, I think that's Whitney. <laughs> I know who it is, Agnes. Daddy, it is Whitney. Who called her? Who called her? What, sir? First on the list is Agnes Olavanjo. You will receive 5 million Naira cash. The house in which you've been living in will become yours. And whether you choose to keep working at Crystal Towers or not, you will receive a monthly salary of 200,000 Naira. And all other benefits accruing to your position. Next in line are the household staff. All stewards and cooks will continue working in the household until the death of Senator Douglas. On the event of his death, each will be adequately paid off with the sum of 500,000 Naira. As for Whitney Ezekiel, her shares in the company have been bought up by Senator Douglas, and her position in Crystal Towers terminated. Inversely, this house bought in her name remains hers, and a lump sum of 50 million Naira. You shall also inherit all your mother's jewelries, shares, and properties in her name. This, I agreed with your mother a long time ago. And I cannot and will not go back on it. But it is my declaration that until my demise, Whitney does not step her foot in this house again. Crystal Towers and his affiliate agencies are now handed over to Nancy Ezekiel and her husband, Charles Obama. You will run the company under the supervision of the departmental heads. While Senator Douglas remains, Senator Douglas retains his shares as chairman of the board. At his death, his shares will be sold off and distributed to charity. This is his will. Thank you very much, Daddy. Thank you so much. My husband and I will ensure that your legacy lives on. And Daddy, I promise you that I will never, 
ever disappoint you again. Never. Daddy, I have something to say. Um, I'm with me. You... The truth is, Daddy. The truth is that Daddy needs to go and rest, right, Daddy? The truth is, Daddy, you mean more to me than fortune. Daddy. I'm sorry for everything, Daddy. I'm sorry for all I've put you through, but if, if I'm not deserving of your, your forgiveness, then Daddy, I, I'm not deserving of your wealth. Daddy, I want you to know I love you. I love you and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, Daddy. Whitney. Whitney. Oh, you disappoint me. I trusted you so much. I wanted everything for you. But you threw it in my face. you to know that I detest you. I forbid you. And, and I, 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 I'm actually waiting for you to tell me why it didn't deem fit for you to invite me for your wedding. I was hoping to be your maid of honor. I might forgive you for that, but I will not forgive you for not attending mine. Are you alright? I'm fine. Then you should sit properly. You shouldn't be sitting like this in your condition. You know, I haven't told anybody this in months. The last person I did tell me ended up dead and buried in a grave. I probably even killed her. Angie, a lot has happened since you left. My mother's death this baby. There was no wedding. No wedding? Plus, Henry is not the father of this child. We barely even dated. I don't understand. Um, I'm having this child for my sister. You're what? She can't get pregnant. And her husband is, well, was threatening to leave her. And if he did, my father would finally cut her off her inheritance. I couldn't let that happen. You know how I am. I've, I've always wanted to have my family together, so I decided to help. And I went for an in vitro insemination.
Wish they tell me you're insane. Her husband is the father of this stop child. Stop it! Just stop it! Now my mother lays cold in death and my father stuck in sickness and in pains and above all in disappointment. But however they see it, I did this for love. I, I, I did this Tell for me. my sister. Tell me this is not true. Tell me what you're saying is not true. How, how, how could you be so, so, so stupid? How could you be so, how could you do I, this? I had to, I Don't stop, don't even explain anymore! Jesus, what, what is wrong with you? I did it for my sister. I did it for her. I found so much in store. I never really planned to go. How are you feeling? We can, we can buy the day. Why are you it's strong? It's a body, literally. <laughs> yeah, honey, how are you? Um. Angela, come on, you've been at this for what? One hour, aren't you tired? I wouldn't want to lose my shape and leave my husband to those sexily bodied girls in London that flood the streets, you know? Would I? You should try it, it'll help when you're contrasting. No thanks, I'm fine. I'll just sit here and watch you. Ah! What? Ah, oh, dear. Angela, something's happening. What's that? I don't know. Wait. And bring out with through your mouth. Oh God, I can't do something. This
child. How are you feeling? Hello. Look at you. Tuka, 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 tuka. Look at you. She is so beautiful. Aren't you lucky? God is really awesome. Hi. <laughs> Especially uh, for us. Yeah. Mm. I believe in heaven already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, darling, how do you like me now? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like me now. <laughs> oh shit. Who the hell is that? Oh my god. It's with me. What the hell does she want? Hello? Hello, Nancy. Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. Hello, bad network. Hello, hello. I'm losing you. I can't hear you. Nancy, how could you do this? How could you abandon me like this? I haven't spoken to you in over two months. Nancy, I am carrying your child for crying out loud. And you knew very well I was due this month. Not even a call. Oh, Whitney, I can't hear you. Hello? 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 Hello, Nancy, can you hear me? Look, I just want you to know, your child is born, and it's a girl. What did you say? Whitney? Hello? <laughs> Look, I'm staying uh, with Agnes, so when you're ready, just come and pick her up. This is what you've always wanted, isn't it? Hello? Oh, sorry. I... You... So, what did you see? Oh, the child, the child. Yes, yes, the child. The child. Uh, Winnie, actually, um, you see, um, I'm very busy these days. I'm very busy these days. I probably can't find the time to come. I mean, in the next uh, few minutes, um, I'm off for a media conference, you know, and then in the next one hour, I'm going for some business lunch in Sheraton and all that, you know. I'm just so busy, I can't find the time to come get that child, you know? What? What? Excuse me? <laughs> oh, Whitney, darling. We're so sorry, Whitney. That child is not mine, you know. We bought the sperm from a fertility center. <laughs> And luckily, we have screened it for HIV. So I think it's high time you looked for the father of your baby. <laughs> mm? And um, I think the psychiatric hospital won't be a bad place to start. <laughs> I'm so sorry you can't run to daddy now, you know. <laughs> Bye. Mother stop pumpkin. Stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. That's not right. That's not right. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, network, network, network. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, uh, what? What? What did she say? She's denying this child. That's. They claim Charles is not the father of this child. It wasn't the sperm. I, I thought you said... No, what I said. I know what I, I did. I know what we agreed, but they're not... 
Oh, okay, calm down. They're denying her. Calm down. I don't understand any of this, but... Oh my God. Has this nine months of torture been nothing? I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay, um... Oh God. I'm finished. Whitney, I think that at this point, you have to talk to your father. I mean, blow it to the open. Talk to your father. Finish it, cut it. You have to talk to your father. My father is already disappointed. I'll only worsen things. Look at how stupid I've been. Yes, he's, yes, your father is disappointed. He's mad at you. It doesn't change the fact that he still loves you. He's your father. He's only mad at you for now. I'll go with you. You have to tell him the truth. I can my father. How about I go make you some salad? Bernard, why don't you take that to his room? Certainly. I'll bring some salad right there. Be fine. The doctor says he has a minor stroke. Whitney, what exactly is going on? There is more to this than meets the eye. Your family is being torn apart. And there is something you carry in you that is bogging you. It's drowning you. You can talk to someone. You can talk to me. I'm pregnant. It's the, oh. uh, no, it's not Henry's. Oh. Look, I, I have to go away. I can't I can't stay around any longer. I'm just going to go somewhere, be by myself at least until the baby is born. And you think it's the best thing to do? Yeah. This, this is something... It's a sacrifice I have to make if I want to see my family together again. And I want to. Let's go. Hello. Hey, hello, pumpkin. I have been looking all over for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, you know, I, I've never thought that you would be so kind to still keep my name in your memory, you know. Nice, nice, nice. But how are you doing really? Uh, do you really hate me now? I mean, do you really, really, really hate your poor elder sister? Hmm? <laughs> Tell me, how is the baby? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, 
How do you explain this? Explain what? Approval for 10 million naira. Since when did I have to start explaining executive decisions to you, Agnes? Stop talking. Listen to me, you. The only reason I still put up with your crap is because I don't want to wound my father's already very fragile heart. But trust me, the next time you trust crap at me again, I will ensure that I throw you back into the gutters where they picked your ass from. You know, the only reason I put up with your executive rascality is because I'm holding on for your father's health to improve. I'm sorry, darling. You're going to have to wait a very long time. You are just a deceitful bitch. What? Oh, I see that she told you. You know you're a disgrace. <sighs> a deceitful swine. Oh, I'm not offended. You know, listen and listen, boo. If you make one more, one more, one last falsified, exaggerated contract, I will personally make sure that you, both of you, pay for all the evil that you have done. Bitch! Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Don't we have a problem here? Sweetheart. What are we going to do about this? Bitch. Don't worry. It's nothing that I can't handle. It's a healthy thing I go. What's up, you see me? This I've learned for Nancy. Come in, come in, please, Charlie. Come. Now what? Charlie, did you call me in here to stare at me in silence? Of course not, Charlie. You know that thing we've been joking about. It might, it might have come to pass, you know. Are you going to know? tell me what this is about? Charlie, I went to see the doctor. He carried out a fertility test on me. And? Charlie, we might not be able to have children. Mm. The doctor said there's something actually wrong with my womb. Look at it. Please accept my sincere sympathy. Charlie, do you think this is a joke? Of course not. I don't see a smile on your face. Is that what you're going to say? Oh, certainly not. Oh, I believe in miracles, Nancy. Lest I forget, <laughs> there's going to be a crusade at a civic nightclub on Friday night. I'm sure you'd like to attend. And just before then, I'll advise that you see the priest. Your confession might take hours. You know? Setting up your sister, your mother's death, a lot. Charles! Charles! Aren't you bothered? Sorry, Nancy. I don't think I'm cut out for fatherhood. What? Let's just say I'm not the children type, okay? Charlie, since when? For crying out loud, we've always talked about children. Charlie, we are married. Oh, yes. I still saw the wedding certificate a few days back. Charlie, cut out this crap. Uh, this, this is not funny. For crying out loud, Charlie. Look, now we have this house. We have loads of money, Charlie. Loads and loads of money. You have your own thing going. I have my position back in the company. We are, we are achieved. All we need now is children. We need to have children, Charlie. Then go get one.
Madame. Madame. Madame, what is it? There's something I want to tell you. What is it? I've been working in this house for six years now. And your father is the nicest man I've ever met. That is the only reason why I cannot keep this information to myself. A friend of mine came to visit me. And on discovering that Oga Charlie is married to you, he could not believe it. Because he said, the same Oga Charlie is married. And he's running another family somewhere else. My Charlie? Madam, and that his real name is uh, Obina. Obina Wafo. What? Madam, I cannot keep this secret. That's why I say I have to tell you. It's because Oga is a good man. I cannot. Oh. My Charlie? Yes, madam. Who told you that? Get out! Get out! Madam, I don't say. Why is my. Madam, I don't say I should tell you. Get out! Just get out! Get out! Cousin's sister's um, husband. I mean, wife. Excuse me. Obina. Who is she? Obina? Yeah, o Obina. Um, I was just trying to tell you that Obina is a um, brother of the, um, of the cousin of the, of the husband. I mean, he is her husband, actually, you know. Please let's go. I don't know what is wrong with your daddy. Charles. You mean you've kept another family? For this past three years that you and I were supposed to to have been married? How? My mother, my sister, my family. How could you do this, Charles? How? You don't understand, Nancy. There is a logical explanation to what you've just seen. You see, the, these ch children are just growing up believing that I'm their father. And um, as for the woman, I've told you, she's the uh, husband of uh, my sister's cousin. I, I mean, the, the wife of... Uh, uh, by the way, why don't you... Let me... Why don't you... Charles, how could you do this to me? Hey, hey, Nancy. How could you do this to me? Come on, Nancy. Why you do this to me, Charles? Just take it easy. Why? 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 That's a gun, Nancy. Why did you do this? Just take it easy. Up, up. The... Now you go make your explanations in hell. You go... <laughs> oh. Abina! 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 Abina!
Agnes. What is the meaning of this? Sir, please calm down. Whitney has something to say to you and I think it is important that you hear her out. Please. What? What has she got to say? Give excuses. I came to take the blame for everything that has happened. It's all my fault, Daddy. Because you warned me. Mommy warned me. And I didn't heed your warnings. And because of that, Mommy is no more. I'm sorry. But I think you deserve the truth, Daddy. In truth, my mommy left us. Nancy, listen. I'm doing this because, like you know, I love you. And you're my only sister. And more than anything, I want to trust you. So, please, don't let me down. Yeah, understanding the fact that um, she was raped as a teenager okay. has helped me a lot to consider this option, Doctor. A young lady, why don't you consider seeing a psychologist? No, actually we have thought about it, but we, we, we believe that. Uh, as a matter of fact, Doctor, I believe that motherhood would help her unveil the past and the hurt. And um, this would help her too, to heal the wound. Exactly. You know? Nancy, sweetie, it's okay. It's okay. Nancy! Nancy! Sir, so, now you know that she was used. She was deceived by Nancy and that devilish husband of hers. She was a pawn to take over your empire. Whitney is vulnerable. It is the generosity of her love that they played on. All she wanted was unity. All she wanted was to get your family back together. Please find it in your heart to forgive her. Please. Yes, sir. Find it in your heart to forgive her. It was stupid of me. I shouldn't have. I should have listened to you. I should have listened to mommy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> 